Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. And for all those asking, this one is my wife. So today, there is Bitcoin, Beach and Butts. And yes, my beautiful wifey, guys. In today's video, talking about four amazing charts, really cool Bitcoin charts you haven't seen before, a trading tip, a travel tip, huge news, dating news, AI dating news. I needed to laugh my ass off when I read it. And yes, of course, also some live advice. So let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. Because are we gonna go to 48K or back to the support level at 41K? Let's quickly jump into those charts, bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is a monthly chart. Check this monthly chart. We can see the closing of last month in this green candle over there, the candle. We had a low of 38,505. We had a high of 49,048. We have a closing of 42,558 and an opening of 42,258. So the closing and the opening are very close to each other. We have two very long legs to the top and to the bottom, which makes this a long-legged doji. I will talk later in the trading tip about this long-legged doji, what it means at the moment, because it can mean two things, but I will talk about it in the trading tip. You need to keep watching the video. Uh, and if you like the video till now, please give it already a thumbs up and share with your friends and family, because we want to reach as soon as possible 75K followers and even 100K before the end of 2024. I want to beat Bitcoin. I want to have 100K followers before Bitcoin reaches 100K, guys. Now, uh, we can see, of course, a red candle at the moment. We had five bullish months since september 2023 we only had bullish candles even the last month was still a bullish candle i know it's just 300 dollars higher close than the opening but it still was a bullish month now will february again be a bullish month that is not a question I give you that answer i need to zoom out to see the complete cycle guys and to see the complete chart so you see this and if we look now back to for example 2017 bull market we can see that towards the halving, we didn't have the same dip that we had in 2019, that COVID crash. Just before the halving, we had a COVID crash. In 2017, we didn't see that dip because there was not black swan event. There was just a normal market. I believe this time we will have a normal market and no black swan event. We can see these crashes of 20% to 30% maximum, which we just saw a 20% crash from 50K all the way down to 38K, but that's normal. But if you look to this chart, I think we are copying the 2015, 16, 17 bull run. And there you can see exactly that towards the halving, the price is going up. So I believe that we are doing the same. I believe the halving, we will be around 50K. If you zoom out and pause the video, you can see the complete chart and you can see exactly how many months it will take before we break the previous all-time high of 69K and before we create a new all-time high above 100k in 2025 it shows exactly on this chart now let's zoom out and look at some more beautiful charts this is the first chart showing you that the australian median house price in bitcoin has only dropped which means this is very positive for all those thinking oh bitcoin is dropping no if you would buy a house in australia with bitcoin in 2014 you needed like around 3,000 bitcoins and now in 2024, you will need around 15 Bitcoins to buy that same house. And that is why it is important for you guys to be in Bitcoin. Treat Bitcoin as your standard capital, as your core currency. Because as long you stay in Bitcoin, you live in a decentralized deflationary asset, which means life will only become cheaper, cheaper, cheaper every year. Just see this house. Same as to our house. Our house was sold in 2017 for 300K which at that moment would be 100 bitcoins. If I wanted to buy back that house at the moment, I only needed around seven to eight bitcoins. That's the difference. If you would have stayed in euros, you wouldn't have been able to buy back that house because you would have needed more euros because of the inflation. Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation. Also showing that now here in this graph of the Australian houses. Now, we have this chart, very interesting chart, a monthly chart, of course, on that monthly chart, you can see on the bottom that when these blue lines go above the yellow lines, that's always a bullish moment. Also, you can see that when the blue and the red line are spreading, you can see that at every time when that happens, that is just before that massive bull market run starts. 
just compare the cycles to the left. The first time on the left, when the blue line and the red line were a little bit apart from each other, that was when the bull market was. Second time again, they were very close, then they start to spread, that is when the bull market was. Now look to the second part, the blue and the yellow lines. Every time when that blue line starts to cross above that yellow line, and even that green line above that yellow line, that is when that bull market starts. And exactly that is happening now again. The green line is above the yellow line. The blue line is above the yellow line. The blue and the red line are spreading. We will see another massive bull run. On this chart, you can see the MVRV momentum. Every time the Bitcoin MVRV ratio fell below its 90 day average in the past year, it signaled a buy the dip opportunity. Every time when that yellow line goes down below that blue line, that is when you need to buy the dip. And we just went down below that blue line with that yellow line, and we are now crawling above that blue line again, so you should be buying that dip. There will be another pump upcoming soon, so you need to buy those dips. Another month passed by, so another result for our trading uh, signals group, the Bitcoin family VIP trading signals. Uh, it was a good month, but not the best month. Sadly, one of the trades, the last trade, which could have been like a 15 to 20% plus trade, was a loss trade because our stop loss was like a couple of dollars too high. Uh, so we closed this month with a positive result of 5.42%. Um, if you analyze back to all the way when we started in September 2022, at the moment we would be up with 542%. You can see in this table exactly what the performance was of the last couple of months. They're all green and that's the most positive part, just making profit. It is not a shitload of profit at the moment this month, only 5%, but still, which bank is going to give you 5% interest on your money? Here you can see uh, exactly which trades we took. Uh, it was seven trades this month, of which were four trades were negative and other three trades were positive. The winners are always bigger than the losers. That's what I've been talking about a lot of times. If you have bigger winners than losers, you will always end positive. So if you want to sign up to this uh, channel, guys, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com, the bitcoinfamily.com. Uh, to the products menu and there you will find sign up to become a VIP signals member. You can become a free member or a paid member. It's all up to you guys. A free member just gets access to the signals. A paid member gets also access to the special VIP telegram group where I am available 24 seven to answer all your questions and also other VIPs and where I give some extra content and soon also access to a complete setup of courses that everyone can follow for free if you are a paid VIP. So go to the bitcoinfamily.com and follow me. Now that was the last chart. Let's quickly jump now into the trading tip. I hope you enjoyed the charts as much as that my wife did. You did enjoy the charts, did you? She doesn't enjoy the charts. She just zooms out and enjoys life, guys. Uh, but the charts showing us exactly the same like every time again and again. Yes, short-term volatility. Yes, of course, I cannot look to the right now because my wife is next to me. Did you see the boobs and the boots <laughs> and the butts? <laughs> but the charts always zooming out, guys. It is now. Two months before the halving in April, probably the 20th of April, we will go sky high after the halving like we have always been doing. This is a cycle that is repeating every time again and again. So every time when we dip a little bit towards that 40k, all those people asking me every time in the DMs, should I buy now? Should I go all in now? Yes, dollar cost average into Bitcoin during all these dips. Before you know it, we will be back at 48K, 50K, and even 61K, I see at the moment on the charts, if we will go into this bullish trend. Yes, on the monthly, there was a very strange doji over there. We call that a long-legged doji. And the long-legged doji, I will talk about in the next part of the video, the trading tip. Are you gonna give the trading tip or I'm gonna talk about the trading tip? Me? Okay. The trading tip for today, guys, is the long-legged doji. So we have a huge wick to the top, a huge wick to the bottom. We have a body in the middle, a very thin body. So it's an indecisive market. We can go up and we can go down. But mostly when we are bullish like now, in these bull runs, I can see a continuation of the market. Because the leg on the top and the leg on the bottom are both very long. Which means we are closing this candle green very far from the low, which means there is still some upward pressure, guys. But again, it also sometimes is a reversal candle. So telling us, hey, there will be a reversal. But mostly when we are in the bull market, guys, ah, I do think it's a continuation of a bullish period all the way up to the halving. 
around 50k. So the long-legged doji, you can see the image over here, that's the explanation, and all the other dojis, gravestone doji, dragonfly doji, and the normal doji. The normal doji has short legs. The long-legged doji has long legs, just like my wife. Very long legs. Yes, she was coughing. She's disturbing my video. That's why I love you. <laughs> yeah. Well, the sun is rising, guys. The travel tip for today. The travel tip for today is a very cool one because my wife can talk about that one as well. Uh, when you travel with kids, please always check the hand luggage. And why should you check the hand luggage? Because the kids always take scissors, math compasses, sharp things, other stuff. I don't know, you know, how many times were we stopped at like border security because they had sharp objects in their hand luggage. Too many times. Too many times. <laughs> I think, and then they every time take, they take the mouth compass, eh? as if you want to kill the pilot with the mouth compass, but they really take it. So I think we need to buy mouth compasses like a couple of times, scissors, a couple of times. <laughs> Was there any other stuff that they took? The uh, kids? Liquids. Liquids, know, always liquids. <laughs> Every time we tell them no liquids, always full with liquids. And it doesn't matter, it's not like they, you know, but you need to empty the whole bag to see what is in it that isn't supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Because we don't know. <laughs> my DJI is like really searching my face or something, but we are completely on the right of the screen. Are you? Are you? Ah, here is she. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's the travel tip for today. Please check your hand luggage because that will save you a shitload of time every time when you're in line and you're holding up that line because your kids again take two sharp objects because you know those border security people think that your kids might kill the pilot or hijack the plane to fly to Thailand and walk the beach here together with us and maybe even after the walking the beach in the bushes uh, finding some walnuts or something. Some jiggy jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to end with sex with my wife because I never talk about sex in my videos again and now I have this beautiful thing next walk, walking next to me and my uh, brain starts to non-function again. <laughs> like that. Now let's jump into the next part. And talking about the travel tip guys, uh, yes we switch sides, we always switch sides and the 50% of what we are doing. But uh, talking about the travel tip, uh, I'm going to answer one of the questions of the followers. And the question of the follower was, can I travel with a hardware ledger or any hardware wallet um, to another country without the customs checking it? So we have been traveling the last eight years almost now, 2016, 2000, what, oh. ow. <laughs> ah, she was bitten by a snake, but we just continue working the video out there. Um, no, but- I walked on a stick. <laughs> on a stick? Yeah. My stick is not that long, darling. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> are you talking about another stick? Sorry, but um, shit, I was there. Yeah, you see my ledger, my, blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. the ledger and everything. Ticket, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so traveling the last for eight years, blah, 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 and move on. <laughs> so the last eight years, we've been traveling all over the world, 42 countries, um, and we have always taken our ledger with us. There's not our main ledger, that's not where all the Bitcoins is on. But we always have a ledger with us, like with one Bitcoin or with two Bitcoins, you know, to have this with us to spend somewhere on the other side of the world. So yes, it's definitely possible. To be honest, I don't even think that all those like uh, people working like at the airport and everything, they even don't know what a ledger is. They think it's a USB stick or something with data or, you know, most people, we are only at 3% adoption in this world. 3% owns Bitcoin, of which maybe 1% of the 3% owns a ledger. So, for example, your father, does he own a ledger? Mine. Yeah? No. No, your, yeah, your stepdad does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your stepdad does, but her real father doesn't. So, yeah, most Sorry. people don't own a ledger yet. So most people also don't know what it is. They don't even know what to look for. But still, if you are afraid to travel the borders with your hardware wallet, you can always memorize the seed phrase. It's just 12 or 24 words. I would prefer 24 words. My brain couldn't handle 24 words, so maybe 12 words is better for me. Could you memorize 20, 24 words? If you put some energy in it, you can. Man, I will not risk that. I will take my ledger. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust anyone on memorizing 24 words. Maybe if you make a song out of it, like if you sing the words in a song. Yeah. Like Killing me softly, something like that. Yeah, no. Okay, so that is uh, the answer to the question. Yes, you can travel all over the world, but there are two exemptions. Of course, I wouldn't travel with your phone with 
bitcoins on your phone or like um, software wallets on your phone, like Green Wallet, Blue Wallet, uh, Satoshi's Wallet, all of these, to New Zealand or to the United States. Because I believe those two countries have the right to check your telephone, to check even if you have ledgers and everything. So I would never travel with my bitcoins on a phone to one of these countries. I would always take an empty phone with me to those countries because, you know, I don't want them to check my phone and if there is too much value on it. Because most countries you cannot enter with like hundred thousands or million dollar worth of bitcoin because you're only allowed to fly in with 15k or 20k whatever the law says so if they will check your phone and there is a shitload of bitcoin on that some of these countries want to <clears throat> yeah take those bitcoins you know confiscate the bitcoins to sell them again to their rich friends yes and we are not their rich friends are we no we're not rich we are not rich no, we not lost friends. everything in a boating accident and we are not friends we are sadly married <laughs> Together we're friends. <laughs> oh, together we're friends. <laughs> we, we are also friends with the followers, always. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, yeah, definitely. Right, that was the answer to the question. Let's jump into the next part. I, of course, selected some special news for today. The special news for today is that a guy, he <laughs> dated 5,300 women before he found the right one. And the way he did that, he used ChatGPT to chat to 5,200 something women, I think 5,300 women, ChatGPT automatically with artificial intelligence dated all those women, chatted with all those women, of which ChatGPT at the end selected 360 women, of which he continued the dialogue with 120 women, of which he met at the end through the selection of ChatGPT and his completely artificial intelligence setup he made with 12 women, of which one woman ended up to being his now wife because he's going to marry her. That is the future of dating. Having ChatGPT <laughs> select one woman out of 5,200 or 5,300 women. <laughs> Do you think our daughters will date like that? No. Why not? They're not that kind of type. But it's girl like to use chat GPT for that. They use it for different stuff, but not for that. <laughs> not for dating. <laughs> but do you think they realize that if they are chatting with someone on one of those dating apps that they could be chatting to artificial intelligence? Like it could be a dirty guy doing that same stuff to my daughter. Like <laughs> artificial intelligence chatting <laughs> to my daughter. Yes, I like you. Why oh. a dirty guy? He doesn't have to be a dirty guy. He's just nah. a lazy guy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> completely right. Yeah, you see, that's why I have my wife with me today because she always corrects me on the right moments. It wasn't a dirty guy. It was just a very intelligent, lazy guy yeah. that used the technology that we have nowadays to make dating a little bit more easy because I think he was a programmer. And as we all know, these programmers, they don't have the best social skills. They are a little bit better behind the laptop or a computer at home. Most programmers. Most programmers, <laughs> most all of them, almost. All of the programmers almost, don't correct me on everything. People might think I'm a retard. Um, so yeah, I think he did it really cool. How can you even think of this? Chatting with 5,200 women to select 300 women by swiping to the right to end up the conversations with 160 women at the same time and then select 12 women you date with. I think it is a genius idea. I think there will be a new app that will be doing that now automatically. Probably he is the developer and he will sell it to Google or any of those companies again. Uh, but it's very strange, but we are sadly living yeah, in that world that makes this possible to meet women without having physical contact. Like we met really with physical contact like years ago, like fucking many years ago. Yeah, but the world is changing, the yeah. jobs are changing. So he also find a new way to probably earn some money. And he was his own test person. Is this gonna work? I don't know if they will live happily ever after, we'll see. But he tested it on himself and now maybe he can make something, a program to sell it. Yeah. And probably the next Tinder swindler will also use the same software to select all his wives for the private jet flights and all that stuff as well. So we'll be used positive and negative, that software, I think. Or find like young brides all over the world. Yeah. yeah. No, but that's what this world is about. Uh, how do you call it? Yeah. Dualism. 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 Yeah. Yeah, we're Dutch. So. Up and down. 
up black and down. and white, hot and cold. I, Always an opposite. You, you already got me at the up and down part, so that's uh, where we got stuck. Um, you want to go up and down somewhere? Depends on where. <laughs> okay, so uh, the news for the day, this guy finally got a happy end, happy, happy, happy ending, long time here in Thailand by dating 5,300 people, women, he's, she's, his, whatever they call them all, um, through an artificial intelligence chat GPT setup he programmed to do so. And finally, he's going to get married. We want to congratulate him with his marriage. Happy, happy marriage, how do you call this? Yes. Hope you live happily ever after. Yes, AI, long <laughs> time, happy. Long time. Now, let's jump into the next part. Which brings me to the inspirational part and the end of the video, uh, kind of connecting to that previous part, because in life, some people want something to happen. Some people wish it would happen. And some people just make it happen. This guy made it happen. And I think that's a very important lesson in life. You can want something to happen, you can wish something to happen, but as long as you don't make it happen, it won't happen. It is you that makes things happen in life. If you don't change your life or change whatever you're doing, life won't change. You need to make it happen. And of course, sometimes things happen to you because other people make it happen, or your family makes it happen, or your wives make it happen, and then yeah, it happens to you as well. But if you really want to take control on your whole life, then you need to make it happen. Is that true or not? Yes. Do you make it happen? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you need to clarify a little bit because they now think that you're talking about dirty stuff again. That's what you think. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot talk for they. <laughs> them. Them, no they. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how everybody calls them nowadays, but I think it's very important, guys. We always talk about life and everybody is asking me questions. How can I change it? How can I do other stuff? By making it happen by just starting with the first step. If you want to disrupt the current way you are living, disrupt it. Now, how do you disrupt it? By, for example, quitting your job or quitting a certain hobby or quitting a relationship because you're stuck. Whatever it is, I need to keep talking because there comes a, a but. Yes, and we always have buts on the video. It's nothing against you. I love you very much. But the people just want to see buts. Bitcoin, beach, and buts. Sometimes I showed them a horse butt. And like, yeah, I fooled them because there was a big horse walking and I said, there's the beautiful butt. Okay. And they were all shocked because it was a horse butt. But yeah, so that's my uh, life lesson for today, guys. I think it's very important that people realize that it's not always depending on others to make stuff happen. You can make stuff happen yourself. We have a butt in between us. Ah, yeah. So <laughs> the butt is gone. So you need to make stuff happen itself. Yes, it's not the most beautiful inspirational quote, but I think it's a very simple quote that can help you to understand what is important in life. Some people want stuff to happen. Some people wish stuff to happen. And some people make it happen. Just like the guy that made it happen now that he got married after selecting a wife out of 5,000 plus women, guys. Now, that was everything for today, guys. That was the end of the video. Hopefully you find it also a happy end video. I'm gonna make it a happy, happy, happy end video later. Uh, I, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. What did you think of my wife's performance today? Give it a one to 10 grade, because nah, then she knows if she can do better or not. That's how our sex life is as well. <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing uh, what day Thursday. Is it? Amazing Thursday. <laughs> See you tomorrow on Friday again. Bye bye. Bye bye.